You know, we've been calling our fundraising efforts for the Niagara Children's Center Help Kids Shine. Well, let me tell you why. And it may be a little misleading because kids shine all the time up there. They always shine. You walk in the doors of the Children's Center, as I have done on many, many occasions for various reasons. You, um, you see kids who are, well, they're dealing with things that, that life has thrown them. And they're dealing with it with a smile, mostly. With, um, with an incredible amount of um, stick to that most of us would, would give our eye teeth for. But they're also dealing with an incredible staff that is able to help them get past these challenges that life has thrown them. Gail Murdoch is a resource teacher at the Niagara Children's Center and uh, joins me this morning. Hello, Gail. Good morning. So tell me a little bit about your job as a resource teacher. What does that mean? Well, I've been here with the Children's Center for just over 22 years. Wow. It is a place you work for and never want to leave. I get that impression from just about every staff member I've ever talked to there, and I, I don't see that at a lot of places. Well, it is true. Um, the children are what make us come to work every day. But what is it you do as a resource teacher for people who are looking at this from the outside in? What, what do you do on a daily basis? So what I would do is I'd provide teacher support for children and their families who are clients of the center. Um, one such program that I've been a big part of is called the Intensive Preschool Resource Program. Okay. Um, I am one member of the team, along with another resource teacher, um, occupational therapist, physiotherapist, speech therapist, and then as well we have a social worker. So you're able to help the kids um, experience, you know, the what other kids do in schools, integrate into into schools, and all of those things. Yes. So a big part of what we do here is on the onset of the children coming to our program, which is a ten month program. Um, they will come Monday to Friday, nine to eleven each day. So on the onset of our program, we would sit with families and the team and plan some goals around where we want their children to go while they're here in our program. So we would look at some of their needs um, and from there develop the best plan possible um, for them to learn and grow and accomplish their goals while they're here. Is there, a, is there a, a particular day or story over your time in 22 years that, that sticks out with you more than any other, Gail, that, that really brings home? What, what do you point to as a, as a moment that you remember more than any other? Well, first of all, each day is... Mm -hmm. there's, there's a great smile on most of the kids' faces when they come to school. Um, these children are dealing with um, some really huge goals to attain that most children and families would just take for granted. Um, such as walking and talking and speaking and being able to communicate their needs. One particular story, and I knew I was going to get emotional. I apologize. No, do you dare apologize. You this... got me going on the onset of your beautiful story you told about our center. Um, one particular story was of a child learning how to walk. And that day when they walked and the parents and the child smiles on their faces, I'm not much of a cheerleader, but that day I did a cartwheel. Um, it was a beautiful moment, and there's many of those every day here at the center. And those days can continue with some help from, from the community. And, I mean, those <laughs> that's the kind of thing that, you know, that's, that's what help a, kid, child, help a Child Smile is all about. Those yeah. stories right there, Gail. And how, for heaven's sake, don't ever apologize for that. That's what makes your work and what you do so amazing. Well, what I would say is, um, as a child that coming to the center with needs, and as a parent, um, having to be heard that you have to sit on a wait list would be crushing. Yeah. Um, imagine knowing that your child need, needs these services, um, but you're told a wait list is, is in place. Um, as I said, I've worked here for 23 three years, and at times this, their lives can be pretty tough, both for the parents and the kids. And knowing that you have to sit on a list it must be crushing to receive a service so that your child could learn how to walk or talk or eat or be a friend or to be able to learn how to function at school. Um, knowing that they can come to us and not have to sit on a list is a huge burden that would be lifted off the families. So well said. 
Uh, Gail, what a great pleasure to talk to you this morning so much. Thank you for this. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Uh, Gail is uh, just one of the, the people that make the Children's Center tick, and you can help those kids shine every day by making those stories of watching the faces of a child who has suddenly done something that other kids do, but they can suddenly do it. They can walk. Or they can talk, or they can communicate in some way where they haven't been able to before. You can donate online at helpkidsshine.ca. You can call them, 905-688-3550. You can go in person, or you can find out all about this just by going to our website. And that's at, um, and that's at 610cktb.com. It's very easy to find. And all of the information is there.